uh, one of the perks of working at Vulcan was that we did a lot of trade with other local businesses. So I think that was like one of the best things about the job was that you got to trade uh, for movies for food, movies for movies. So like the Alamo Draft House. I think I didn't I didn't pay for a film for watching a movie for six years because I had my film uh, education in Vulcan and then I had you know the new releases at, at the Alamo Draft House and all the fun um, programs they had at the Alamo and I actually they got to know me pretty well uh, at the Lamar location um, and uh, there's a guy that worked at the, the, the booth named Rocky um, and he was just like the most the kindest person like he was just so full of energy and such a sweetheart and we just became like friends via this route and we used, needed someone at the North Store um, and I was like let's hire Rocky like I told Rocky I was like send in your, your application like because he's he was such he was passionate about film too and um, I got Rocky hired at the North Store, and uh, Rocky was with is was with Vulcan right until the very end. So um, Rocky started because of our friendship <laughs> at the Alamo, and uh, Rocky was just such a positive beam of light. Like he was the most. Uh, just kind and fun person to be with so he he deserved the job he deserved that and to, to work at Vulcan he was just such a good person and then um yeah like so many good people came through those doors Jared the Ohio crew Jared and Andy they were they had their own unique passions and loves like Andy was a film nerd too and Jared was obsessed with basketball, obsessed. Like he would get really, they, he'd come in days when he was like really moody, like really down, pissed off, like treated everything like, like the worst had happened in the world. I'm like, dude, Jared, what's wrong? Like what happened, are you okay? His basketball team lost <laughs> and like he let it get to him <laughs> for when it happened, we knew. Um, but yeah, we had a few people that I can understand why, why customers didn't like them. Um, we had one in particular, a guy that was just, if he worked a shift, he was just constantly angry almost. Like he just seemed so upset all the time. And uh, the only time he actually got into a good mood was like later in the night when he would start drinking. And so that alcohol helped loosen him up and then he became more manageable. <laughs> So, from the customer point of view, I can understand like some some experiences probably weren't the best, but um, for the most part, everybody there was pretty passionate about being a part of the Vulcan crew and and um, just being surrounded by something that they love. I know I I'm, I'm like a parrot. I keep saying this over and over again, but it's the truth. Like when I. Oh, I'll do that another.